What's up, everybody? Right now, oh, it's kind of dark. Hold on, let me make it not as dark. There we go. <laughs> Sweating a little bit because it's super hot and humid here. I'm in Japan right now. I'm not in America. I'm in Japan for 12 days. Been doing some fun stuff out here, getting some track days in, doing some drifting, all that stuff with what I got out here. Wish I had my Corvette out here, but I don't. Right now, I'm at Daigo Sato's shop. Daigo Sato's a famous drifter here from Japan. He's drifted in the US, drifted in Japan, drifted all over the world. Really good driver, does some of the most insane builds. You got some cars behind me here. Some of the most incredible builds I've ever seen. And he just takes the most random cars and turns them into a drift car. There's even this Ferrari sitting right there up top, which I wouldn't put it past him to turn that into a drift car. I've seen him turn a Lamborghini, the, uh, not Diablo, Lamborghini Mercier Lago into a drift car, which is absolutely incredible. But um, we're going to take a look at this shop here and um, take a look at some of the cool builds that he has here. Uh, we'll start over here. Obviously, I'm not a Toyota guy, but this is a cool A80 Supra uh, drift car that he has going on right here. Look at all that angle. Very similar to the angle that I got on my C6 Corvette because this is a Wise Fab kit. I have a Wise 5 kit on my C6 Z06 that I drift with. So it's a very, very great kit. Uh, I'm pretty sure he uses it on a lot of his builds. Wise 5 is the best. Um, let's see, looking right here, you got the 32 with a Jay-Z engine. This thing is a very cool build. Obviously, some of you know that I like JDM cars too as well. So I have a R32 GTR. Um, this is not a GTR. I think it started its life as like probably a GTST or something like that. But it's an ultra cool build. <laughs> Jay-Z motor in it. But some people think well, it's sacrilege, but it's all good. And the crazy thing is it's supposed to be a right-hand drive car, and this one is a left-hand drive car. So he just did something very off the wall with it. Why? I don't know, but he did. So it's super cool. Maybe he got it from the Middle East. Um, let's walk over here real quick and check out this Hakuska right here. This thing has a NASCAR V8 engine in it. This beautiful, beautiful beast right here. Absolutely incredible car. Has a NASCAR V8 in it. Big fat tires. He drifts with this thing, rips around. I mean, this thing is an absolute ripper. I've seen this thing on YouTube, Instagram, and all that stuff, ripping around different tracks. I remember one track he tapped the wall with it, I think, on either on this left rear, which I see, I see a little small scratch. Maybe it was a left rear. Or was it was the right rear. Yeah, it was a left rear. I remember. Yeah, because he backed it into the wall just barely. So that's maybe that famous scratch from that video. But man, this thing is super, super insane. The quality of his builds. It's a Skyline 2000 GT Hakuska. So um, old school looking cars. I know a lot of people are super big fans of, um, you know, BMW E30s. This kind of looks like an E30-ish style to me, but it's so cool, so much better, so much cooler. And it has a NASCAR V8 in it. This R34 GTR right here is my R34 GTR. Can't even open this door this lock. That's my R34 GTR. They're bleeding the brakes right now. Anyways, moving on over here. So we'll go through this shop. The reason why I'm in here is one reason, because I'm a Chevy guy. And as I know you're seeing all this JDM stuff here. Here's another A80 Super with a TRD. I think this might be a NASCAR V8. I'm not sure. Um, from the TRD program. I've never seen the Toyota Motors. I don't go over to Toyota. I'm not a Toyota guy. I can respect this build though. I mean, I can respect any build. This is, it is cool. It's very, very cool. I mean, you can't hate, right? This is cool. Um, but I don't think I'll ever buy one. <laughs> But it's cool. It's cool. There's another A80. They just love these A80 drift cars. This thing's sick. Uh, here's a uh, JZ X100. I've drifted one of these a few times now um, here in Japan. I uh, love drifting these things. Pretty fun. Uh, here's a GR86. Blah, blah, blah. Toyota, Toyota, Toyota. All this stuff here. And once again, I'm not the Toyota guy. Uh, there's a reason I'm here. It's because of this. Yeah, you see it. C6 drift car. He has two of these things. I became, I got to know who Daigo Seda was because of this car. This car right here. 
It is a C6 drift car. It originally started its life as a C6 GT uh, sport, you know, sports car, some sports car series out here in Japan. Like, I don't know if it was like Super GT or GT, whatever. I don't know what it was, um, but this was a road course race car. And then he converted this thing into a drift car because obviously the C6 platform is an amazing platform for drifting. People are starting to find out, mess around and find out. That's what we've done. Um, but uh, man, look at this motor, mass motorsports heads, <laughs> massive, crazy V8. This thing spins up to like eight, nine, 10,000 RPM, something crazy. Um, <laughs> this thing is just a, a absolute monster. Love this thing. I've seen this thing drift uh, on YouTube back in the day. And man, it is just absolutely incredible. I don't know if it will open up or not. Where's the, there's a little latch thing. Let's see if this pop, oh yeah, it does pop open. There you go. Take a look at the interior right here. Look at this thing. Right hand drive C6 drift car. I, I would love to have, like if any drift, there's, only, there's two crazy drift cars in this world that I love to have. This and the Hunicorn. Besides that, like every, every other car is just cool, but this is, this, to me, this is a legend. This car is an absolute legend. Like my C6 Z06 drift car was built after this car. Like I built it because of this car. I saw him drifting and I was like, I want to build a drift car. Also, you know, Unicorn master Ken Block, rest in peace. He was also one of my inspirations too. So a mixture between Ken Block and then also seeing this. So I saw Ken Block obviously do his thing with the with the um, with the Hoonigan videos, obviously with uh, Jim Connor. Saw him do his thing that inspired me. And then from there, I was like, okay, what can I build into a drift car? And then I was like, I have a C6 Corvette that I could. And I saw this, and I was like, oh my god, somebody already did it. This is cool. And this is. When he, when, when Daigo was originally drifting this thing, I don't know if Matt Fields had built his car just yet, or maybe I didn't know about Matt Fields yet, but man, when I saw this thing, uh, like just ripping around the sound of it, like I was like, I, I have to build mine into something like this. And mine obviously is not on this level, but man, like I would love for it to be on this level <laughs> one day. This takes money and time. You can see the quality of this build. Obviously, this thing did not start off his life as a street car. It started off his life as a race car. And then it turned from a race car, road course car, to a full-blown drift car. And it is absolutely incredible. You can just take a look at everything in here. This car is no joke. No joke. Daigo is at his other shop right now. We were just with him. I got some other YouTube videos coming out with me drifting around with him. Um, but uh, I'm just going through this. I've actually came here before and checked this thing out, uh, but like only for a few seconds. Actually, I don't know if I saw this one. I saw this orange one, which is at his other shop, but I didn't see this one. So this is actually the first time I saw this particular one. I saw the orange. One. And uh, this is, this I believe, because I remember this body. This, I believe, is the one, if I'm not mistaken, that I originally saw in his videos back in Damien is Drifting. Because obviously you see all this like Bondo work, all this fixing of, not fiberglass, but this Kevlar stuff, whatever it is. Um, you see the fixing of it. This probably is his original one. They probably crashed a lot. <laughs> you know, drifting and pushing the boundaries. You'll, you'll, you know, sometimes you'll run into some issues, which he probably did, but um, it's just a beautiful car beautiful build. I mean, these are all beautiful cars in here. All beautiful builds. It's a beautiful shop, a beautiful thing. But I mean, this thing takes a cake. My favorite car in this shop. Hands down, if I could have anything in here, it would be this. Guaranteed. Like, I no, like, I just, <laughs> I can't help but to say it. Like, I would love to get a ride in this thing. It has two seats in it, right? And then eventually I would love to drift this thing. Anyways, it's, uh, it's been good showing you the shop and showing you this cool builds here. Obviously, this one takes the cake. Let me know in the comments what you think takes the cake in here. Some of you might not be a fan of this. Maybe you're a fan of all these other Jay-Z, Supras, and all this other stuff here. Ferrari, everything here. Maybe you're a fan of that, but this is what I'm a fan of. This C6 drift car inspired me to get into drifting, inspired me to build my C6 Z06 into a drift car. That thing is a monster. It makes 800, 900 plus horsepower. Absolutely incredible. I wish he was still drifting it. He drifts other cars now. Uh, but man, like this thing, I'm telling you, like this, 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 this is a leader in the industry right here. So super cool to get the opportunity to see it, check it out. And um, you know what? One thing I haven't done is, uh, 
I haven't sat in it. And now I'm sitting in, I'm sitting in this crazy car. I'm feeling the energy from its past. I'm feeling that V8 ripping 8,000, 9,000 RPM, wherever it's been, I'm feeling all of it. I'm sitting in this legendary car. Holy moly. Holy moly, I'm feeling it, man. Okay, this is a great way to end the video. I gotta end it right here. <laughs> Thanks so much for everybody for tuning in.